UK Health Security Agency has announced yellow heat alerts, health, yellow heat health alerts across most of England this week. Daily temperatures are expected to reach 30 degrees. So should we be worried or should we be celebrating? Well, a heatwave may be welcome after the cold start to the summer we've had, but these high heats can pose a risk to vulnerable people. Right, well, let's cross now to our reporter, Thea Jacomba, who's outside Inglewood Nursing Home in Eastbourne. Uh, Theo, yes, the heat, we're welcoming it, welcoming it, but it can also impact people who are in their elderly years, can't it? It can indeed, and that's why there is that yellow weather warning, particularly for those who are over the age of 65 and those who are vulnerable. But we've been speaking to people in Eastbourne this morning and this afternoon, and they actually welcome uh, this warm weather. They're saying, finally, uh, this weather has arrived. We've been told it's summer for weeks now, now the 24th of June, and still no sign of it, but they are very happy uh, to see it finally here. Now, we've been asking people, are they prepared? And if they're carrying water and sun cream, just to ensure that they are safe. This is what they have to say. Sports, so there's nothing to complain about, is there? We're here for the tennis. Um, it's a fantastic day. Um, even the sea looks blue, which is quite a surprise for Eastbourne. Long time coming. Just coming out for a couple of hours, so we're taking a chance without the sunscreen. <laughs> yeah, I love it. About time we had some hot weather. It's nice. <laughs> but the weather's gorgeous, yes. Yeah, we've just come down from what, a place in Enfield. Loving that. Yeah, it's about time, isn't it? Yeah, summer's here. <laughs> Plenty of happy people there, but there is that warning and from the UK Health Security Agency that you should be prepared, carry water and have sunscreen with you. Even if you feel like you can't combat it, uh, the advice is to ensure that you are carrying uh, plenty of water to stay hydrated. But we are on the first of a couple of days, actually. On Wednesday, it's set to peak around 28 to 29 degrees, depending where you are in the country. And perhaps in the capital, we may be seeing temperatures around 30 degrees on Wednesday this afternoon. But for, the, for those looking forward to later in the week, uh, temperatures are still going to be fairly high in the 20s. So if you are at work and feeling like you're missing out, uh, there is still some warm weather on the way this week. Theo, are you sure you're an Eastbourne? It looks positively Mediterranean. <laughs> Particularly that man that you interviewed who was uh, standing in front of what looked like a palm tree in the glistening blue uh, Riviera, or, or just perhaps ordinary sea. Um, but no, goodness me, it, 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 it looks really quite marvellous. It doesn't look like people are particularly annoyed, really. <laughs> yeah, you're right. And I have to say, it's probably thanks to the local council here um, who have done uh, what looks like a great job uh, when it comes to the flowers, putting those palm trees. It almost does look like you're in another country with blue seas. Even I was surprised. Um, so, yeah, it does look very good over here. Well, enjoy the sunshine, Theo. Thank you very much indeed. Theo Jacomba uh, outside Inglewood Nursing Home in Eastbourne. Um, yeah, it's normal summer temperatures, isn't it? It's just a surprise because it's been so dreadful for so long. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't think that we should be particularly worried. Obviously, if, if you're a vulnerable person, you should take extra precautions, of course. That, that almost goes without saying. But I don't think we should be too, too down and out about finally having some sunshine. Do you think we infantilise people a little? People can tell if it's yeah. hot outside. They know they probably need a drink of water. Yeah. And if they don't have one, some, you know, a kind person will, will lend you a drop of water, I'm sure. What I, th what I think we need a bit more of in this country, though, is air conditioning. We seem to have an aversion to air conditioning in, in, the, in a way that most European countries... Yeah, because it's not worth it, is it? Because it's only hot about two weeks yeah. a year. I think it's going to become more and more worth it. I think, I think, because you know that a lot of local plans, lo lo loads of local councils, and particularly the London plan, explicitly discourages new buildings from having He makes everything about planning regulations. But, have you noticed? Because politicians stop us having nice lives. They do. They stop you from having a nice life. Yeah. Yes. Anarchy. Anarchy preferable uh, for Tom. <laughs> Just Absolutely. Joking. No, no, no. Just think, joking. Um, yeah. so if, you, if you ran the world, there'd be no planning regulations at all, would there? You'd be able to build anything wherever you like. I would, not anyone else. <laughs>